Ya, ya. Oke. Okay. <clears throat> for the last class, you guys say you were not there. Just I will start with those things and then we'll move forward. So uh, we were done with that statement object then now we are going to the prepared statement uh, prepared statement is the one it's also been interface but actually to speak internally it extends the statement interface okay uh, prepared statement is just like a statement I mean uh, it, it provides some extra features here that's a, that's the reason it's like you know uh, Nowadays, most of the people are using the prepare statement. Okay, before we're going to see the advantages and disadvantages of the prepare statement and comparison with the statement object, we'll see some simple programs and then we'll start discussion. That's, I think, will provide a good impression. <clears throat> okay, let me save this program here. Okay, um, up to here is common thing, getting the connection object. Okay. Is false remove okay up to here it is common and then only the thing that I'm wearing here is like con dot um, create statement was the one which I'm using previously right in place of the create statement I'm calling now prepare statement and at the same time I need to pass the query here okay for the prepare statement as an argument I need to pass the query to this this is the one which is going to return me the prepared statement object then uh, the main difference between the statement and prepare statement is in the statement object you we are going to hard code the values hard code like nothing but for example if I want to insert uh, e number as 4 and uh, e name as uh, d d d then I am going to write it as like this in general for the statement right instead of writing as like this I am going to use the positional parameters nothing but, but nothing but question marks here Okay, I'm going to use the question marks and then in the next step I'm going to take the prepare statement object PSTMD dot I'm going to use the setter methods set int set string whatever here This is having the two arguments one is the first one is the index number of the question mark and second one is the value Okay, consider how many question marks are there here two question marks are there Let me divide as like this. This is the first question mark and this is the second question mark so that's the reason for this first set uh, xxx I have taken as a one for the second x set xxx I have taken as the two Okay, then how to decide set int or set string how to decide this but Depending upon for example here. I know that insert into the EMP values Values are nothing but here first one is integer data type and the second one is e number is integer data type and second one e name is varchar data type in database in same way at here in teaser and string in Java so based upon that I'm going to take a decision first one is of integer type that's why I take it as a set int comma 1 comma 4 1 means first question mark in place of the first question mark replace with 4 as a value okay and then in the second line pstwt dot set string as because uh, second question mark is nothing but a e name e name is of type data type varchar2 varchar means here in the java it's a string right that's the reason i am using set string okay pstwt dot set string and then this is a second index number nothing but second question mark here so replace the second question mark with value ddd Okay, once this setting operation is done, I'm going to use the execute update method. Okay, let us try to execute this program.
yes it got executed let us go and see the table now because we are doing the insertion operation of record 4 and ddd value right select start from emp yes i can able to see the record 4 and ddd got inserted into here so, so the main difference uh, here is like you know uh, instead of setting the values or you can say in, in, instead of concatenating the values at here i am using the setter methods to send the values okay in the same way consider as an example if i want to do an update operation okay if i want to do an update operation here then let us see as like this update emp set for example i want to change the e name value e name is equal to which record i want to change same one last which are we inserted for ddd right i have inserted i want to modify that record then in place of ddd i want to replace e consider like this okay here we need to provide the where clause also right where e number is equal to 4 okay uh, this is the common way that we are going to write the queries am i right i mean if i want to update a record this is a common way that i'm going to write it but here i'm using the uh, prepared statement i want to make it more uh, faster so that's the reason i uh, let me in i don't want hard code these values instead i want to put question marks question mark first question mark and then second question mark like this okay now here see this is the first question mark and this is the second question mark okay so based upon that tell me e name e name is of data type varchar right varchar is nothing but set string okay and index is correct first and then value is i want to put e e e okay and then second question mark see here index of the second question mark second question mark is nothing but it is of type number in database but here in java it is integer right then try to put set int index number two is correct and value that we need to pass nothing but four i want to update the fourth record right just consider as an example replace these values with here replace e e e to first question mark assume like that and you can easily understand this and replace the second question mark for like this understand and now try to execute the program as it executed let us go and see the records see previously fourth record is e name value is ddd now i have updated as fourth record e name value is e by using update syntax so the main difference at the statement prepare statement is instead of setting the values or concatenating the values in the same line okay in the same line i am using the setter methods to set the values in the next line okay okay um assignment for you is like you know please uh, try to write a program to delete a record from the table where e number is equal to four this is the assignment for you okay please come uh, try to execute this program on uh, today and come up with it tomorrow <coughs> now let, let us come back and see what is the main difference between the statement and prepared statement that's what okay the common point at here is prepared statement is the one which extends the statement interface internally okay prepared statement is the one which extends the statement interface internally and okay 
second difference at here is like see whenever you guys were like you're trying to execute uh, DDL statements okay nothing but create a table or drop a table or alter a table in these scenarios statement is the statement is the best option to go for okay statement object you can say statement is the best option to go for okay and if you guys were doing update operation or delete operation or insert operation then prepared statement is the best option to go for okay nothing but the insert update and delete these are called as dml statements data manipulation statements okay data manipulation language statements. okay so main difference is like if you guys were doing create alter or drop a table in those cases go for a statement and if you are doing insert update delete then go for prepared statement okay and in other way we can say it as like this if you guys were doing a repeated operation insert is a kind of a repeated operation for example in online uh, multiple guys are getting registered at the try, uh, multiple guys are trying to register if trying to register means you, you guys are trying to insert the particular record into your database that is a kind of insert statements okay update statement uh, for example if anybody wants to update their profile okay then you are going to call the update statement and you are going to update his uh, profile record based upon his uh, EID or e name or whatever it is okay <clears throat> delete for example if anybody wants to get out of that uh, particular login i mean he then he is going to use at the same time you're going to use some delete operation depending upon okay in these cases the best option is prepared statement means you guys were doing this kind of an operation repeatedly okay in these cases you guys were doing operation repeatedly in those cases please try to use the prepared statement is the best option and comparatively in terms of a performance wise prepared statement provides a better performance than the statement object okay prepared statement provides the better performance than the statement object how okay let us see as like this whenever if you try to execute any um, query in prepared statement what are the things mainly happen in database side okay what are the things mainly uh, happens in database side first is the parsing nothing but query will get received in the database side first and then it is going to parse that query okay second step compiling means it is going to do the compilation of that particular state particular query okay third one is validation validation is nothing but looking for the errors if any exist okay and fourth step is executing the query okay whenever you guys were using the prepared statement object or statement object four steps it is going to do first one is in the database that i'm saying not here in java in database that i'm saying okay in any database not only oracle database any database side okay whenever you are trying to fire some query then that time what are the things happens in the database side first thing is parsing and second is compilation third thing validation fourth thing execution executing the query okay these are the common things that will happen okay here consider a statement object it is a kind of a static means if i want to update some record then i am going to do the hard code here the values at here okay like this but where is the prepared statement i am going to send it as like this first with the question marks and then i am going to set the values here advantage of this prepared statement is like first three steps are executed only once means parsing next compilation and then validation these three steps are executed only once in the database side and it is going to put this template in the buffer from next time onwards if you are just changing the values and sending then that time it is just going to update the values okay update the values and execute the query 
means only the fourth step is the one which is going to execute repeatedly in the database side first one two three steps are skipped in the database side when whenever you are using prepared statement and whenever you are using the statement object state <coughs> old one for example like this whenever you are using a statement object okay every time it has to execute all the four statements compulsorily all the four nothing but first parsing and then compilation and then validation validation is nothing but looking for the errors in your query okay and the fourth one is execution of your query okay that's the one difference and the final difference is uh, there is no sql injection problem okay there is no sql injection problem in prepared statement but there is a sql injection problem in statement object okay okay i will show you with an example with this sql injection don't worry okay till now you guys were understood right whatever i'm saying yeah okay great <clears throat> so what is the sql injection problem sql injection is a kind of a problem like you know you are trying to pass one query through network from your server to a database okay in the database side we are going to receive that particular query okay we are going to receive that particular query first it is going to do the parsing and then compilation and validation i mean nothing but looking for the errors and finally it is going to execute the query that's the common steps that's it's going to be done by at the database side right then what is this sql injection problem i'll show you consider as an example here see this is the statement object i'm using okay you guys were aware right how to use the statement statement stmt is equal to con dot create statement it's okay and then i'm using some name string name is equal to yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what my intention okay and then i am trying to execute one query okay that query is looks like this select the star from emp where e name is equal to yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what my intention i'm doing okay select star from emp where e name is equal to yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay for that see what i'm doing i'm using the escape characters here call see i'm using the escape characters here to do them. nothing but i'm doing concatenation multiple uh, strings are trying to uh, put in a single line for that i'm using the concatenation by using plus symbol okay it's okay it's fine where actually you really been looking for only one record where name is equal to aa right let us try to execute this program yes you asked for only one record that is uh, a where uh, e name is equal to a yes you got it consider hackers will be there in the network okay they were looking for the options to be frank from 2009 to 2013 top 10 vulnerables is one of the vulnerabilities is, is this sql injection okay whenever if you try to execute some query in the database these like you know these hackers are coming into the picture and they are hacking your statements how for example instead of this line they are going to pass this nothing but they are going to use these escape characters okay they are going to use these escape characters nothing but single quotes they are going to use these escape characters and modify this as like this okay and modify this as like this just as a simple example or one is equal to one like this just now let us try to execute this program now what happens oh actually in your respect to you asked for only one record one yeah 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 but in between the hacker joined into and he modified the query and sent the statement to the database now the database returned all the records which are present in a database okay this is called as a sql injection problem means whenever you are using these escape characters nothing but single quotes 
okay that time he is going to use the benefit of this single quotes and do the modify the query accordingly okay he is going to use the single quotes and modify the query that's what the technology that they had okay and see whenever if he modifies the query in place of this name if he modifies as like this what happens instead of getting the only one record it is returning all the records which is present in the database is this a problem or not it's a i think it's a big problem big problem right you are asking for only one record and you are returning all the records right still 2013 it is a like you know very big problem in top 10 problems is one of the big problem that's the reason there people said like after that when they found like many things as like this they found they told like please don't use the statement object for repeated queries nothing but create uh, for update delete and insert operations please don't use this instead use the prepared statement okay please use this prepared statement where in the prepared statement i am not going to use any escape characters like a single quote see i'm not am, am i using anywhere here single quotes nope i'm not using so prepared statement can prevent the sql injection that's the main biggest advantage than the statement object okay there were like two main advantages of the prepared statement one is like you know four steps are there actually to speak right first is the parsing compilation validation and then execution these are the four steps every time it has to be get executed in the database side when i am using the statement but when i am using a prepare statement in these four, in these four steps first three steps will be executed only once for the first time from next time onwards execute query is the only one which execute for multiple times so that processing speed will be very faster in prepare statement than the statement okay and second advantage is prepared statement is going to prevent the sql injection problem okay that whereas we are going to face the sql injection problem in, in case of the statement object these are the main two differences between these two okay others were there but if you told these two differences in an interview <clears throat> yes uh, i mean uh, you you can get a hope to crack the that particular interview okay most of the people fail to tell these two reasons i observed uh, when i am going for interviews when i ask for difference between the statement prepared statement they will tell faster faster but how how it is faster that's what i want to know that's why when you say the reasons like you know how it is faster means four things has to be get executed in the database side okay whereas i am using when i am using this prepared statement first three will be get executed only once and then fourth one will be get executed multiple times in that way if you say then interview will get convinced okay any doubts on this one it's clear yep okay lakshmi and vijay any doubts yeah i have a question yes please yeah so when it, when it needs to compile parse and everything but uh, you, we are not giving any value right we are passing the question marks exactly this is called as a template okay this is called as a template when i am whenever i am passing as like this okay and whenever i am passing as question marks these question marks it is going to consider as a bind variables in the database okay there is a concept called bind variables in the database if you have a time please go through go across once okay you can get to know what is this bind variables and all in database side okay this prepared okay. statement is going to use the bind variables concept means whenever if you send the question marks till it gets compiled mm -hmm. okay and the template will be get ready with everything in the buffer okay okay whenever you are sending the pass, uh, pass the values as like this set xxx methods then that time it is going to replace these bind variables i mean these uh, question marks with this values and it is going to just replace the values and execute that's it okay so if i like you know when it, when it checks for the syntax error if i do any uh, spelling mistake in the exact statement so it will be uh, thrown error at the prepared statement itself yes actually 
yes s for example yes there is some mistake in the syntax for example instead of set i'm using put something else like this okay and try to execute this see actually to speak i got oh, let me maximize this see missing set keyword and this is the main one it is going to throw an error number also or 00971 some people especially the database guys uh, will understand the issue based upon this uh, uh, number only okay sometimes mm -hmm. this message may be get related exactly sometimes may not means exception will be coming but uh, that is not related to the message actually to speak sometimes okay see here missing okay. set keyword okay right now we can able to compare yes set is missing that's why it's sending correctly and then see actually this error occurred in the database side from the database side we caught in the database error uh, in our interface from the interface we are trying to provide the same error message in the ui okay okay first here, error got here we got a, mm -hmm. yeah here we got a error around uh, line number 26 Uh, yes. Mm, here. Yeah. Whenever you are trying to execute this, that time, it got. Okay. okay. Execute update. Okay. <clears throat> so actually, to speak this error. This. Is, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. See, first three steps are like object will be get ready. okay you i got your a uh, question we are already crossed this line now actually to speak here itself we should have get the error message right your question is yeah yeah understand okay this is actually to speak up to java okay uh, when these steps these three steps are getting executed we didn't even reach reach out the database okay mm -hmm. whenever you are going to call the execute update then at that time we are going to reach out to the database and we're going but, to pass uh, the, all this information yeah but by the time the template will be ready in the buffer right buffer means where in java side i mean in uh, what i can say yeah in java side not in the database side ready in the java okay. buffers in caching not in the database caching whenever you are going to execute update that time this whole thing i mean template along with set values everything will be sent to the database okay for the second time if i use again uh, some other values so it will be the template will be at the java buffer or the database buffer database buffer oh. actually this week main advantage is from database buffer only not from uh, not from the java buffer okay okay java caching that's a different kind of a concept there is no use at here its main advantage is from the database side only okay database okay. Is the one which is going to maintain that particular buffer and uh, whatever i told you right first three steps will be i mean nothing but uh, parsing and then uh, compilation and then these three uh, will be executed in the, i mean uh, executed in the database side it is going to put um, ready in the buffer that's it whenever from next time onwards if you just change the values then it is going to replace the values and then executes oh this kind of functionality do we have in database too like you know if you are right if you are directly working with the database Like yes. You know, uh, yes. Actually, that is from database only, right? See, whenever you are trying to execute any queries repeatedly, it in general, it never goes directly into the database. I mean, uh, some DBF files will be available. Okay, database files called as. Okay, it never goes directly to the DBF files. Instead, it is going to search for those queries in the buffer itself. Do do I mean uh, this query is already been available at here? If yes, then just take that uh, query and execute it. If it is not available, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Like this kind of question mark, uh, like uh, concepts in DB2, like database. Hmm. Yes, it is available, na. Uh, by using the bind, bind variables concept. That's what I told you. Oh, bind variables. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'll check. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. We'll go to the next concept. okay now we are done with this right next uh, third statement is callable statement 
okay now we were like done with these two statements that is statement object and uh, after that uh, we saw the prepare statement and final one is called callable statement just like these only okay final one is called as callable statement so what is this callable statement whenever if any procedures are present in the database side and if you want to execute those procedures from the java then at that time use the callable statement okay let us do one thing first we'll try to create one procedure in the database okay then we'll start working in the java side I'm trying to create one procedure in the database. Okay, create or replace procedure test proc as begin insert into EMP. values phi comma f f f Oops. and alt f4 hmm. okay Please spelling is wrong. Okay, procedure with created a compilation errors. What are they? Maybe it is expecting semicolon here. Hmm. Yeah, super. So okay. This is the simple procedure that I have created it here. Okay, create or replace means if the procedure is not created, then create. If the procedure is already been existing with this name, nothing but test proc. Okay, then replace it. Replace it with that procedure with my current procedure. So that's the statement says create or replace procedure. Okay and here this is syntax begin and this is the query that operation that i'm doing here insert into emp values five yuff 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 okay and if you want to execute this alt f4 close it put forward slash enter yes procedure got created now in the database side now what we need to do here <coughs> first we need to get the callable statement object right con dot prepare call okay syntax is call what is the procedure that we created with the name procedure name here test proc right so just call test test proc now cstmt dot execute Save this program. Save. Let me try to execute this program. Yes, browser executed. Now, actually, to speak, what we are trying to do with this, when this browser got executed, insert the insert into table EMP with the values phi f f f. Okay. Previously, we had up to four only, right? One, two, three, four records were there. 
okay there is no five fifth record now we were added this select star from emp yes our fifth record got inserted okay we'll do one thing let me try to execute once again this program yes executed successfully let me go back oh it got inserted once again right okay let me come back here let me execute once again and go back and see oh it got inserted the same record once again fifth record five f f f five f f f and five f f three times it got inserted so what actually been happening at here if you observe clearly simple you from the java you are just calling one processor by using prepare call and you're calling the processor name okay and you're calling a processor name in the processor anyway by default we are executing the only single line that is nothing but insert into emp values means every time this processor is uh, executed please insert the values phi f f f means this is a kind of a concept called static thing static concept nothing but every time this query uh, this pressure is getting executed at that time you are trying to insert the same values same values are it's not kind of a dynamic one it's kind of a static one okay <clears throat> in order to make this static thing to be a dynamic okay then use question marks again at here means i am going to pass the values from here just like prepared statement cst empty dot set okay let us try to create uh, the procedure it here first create or replace procedure test proc i want to make this procedure as a dynamic right so test proc underscore dyn dynamic Process P E number is of type number. It is uh, in variable and uh, data type is number and second P E name and it is also input variable and uh, data type is uh, var char two. Close this as begin insert into emp values p e number comma p e name yes processor created successfully so see here i have created one processor in such a way like it is going to accept the values from java okay instead of like you know hard coding every time five ue here i have written the code in such a way like it has to accept the values from the java dynamically it is going to accept the values from java and then it is going to insert that particular record into a database okay so for that i have created some two temporary variables that thing but pe number and pe name okay and it is a input variable nothing but in means the variable which is passing from java to database that's why i said in and as we know e number is of type uh, number that's why i kept as a number and uh, this is of type string that's why i kept as a var char 2 okay then place these uh, pe number and pe name at this position these temporary variables at here so that it will be get replaced okay now let us go back to this program so our processor name is test proc underscore dyn okay processor name is any it's not a specific just i kept as a dyn because it is a dynamic kind of a program right that's why okay now <coughs> tell me see here see here two question marks that are there <coughs> question comma question first what is the first one and what is the second one pe number is the first one nothing but set int 
index of the first question mark is 1 comma I want to insert consider 6 as a value okay and again CSTMT dot set string why it is string second question mark is e name right I want to put some string name like you know for example Z Z Z okay we don't have this kind of a card right and then finally CSTM dot execute whenever we execute this particular line it is going to execute it perfectly now let us try to execute this and we'll see if we got any errors if not yes it got executed perfectly let us go and see the EMP table select a star from EMP yes 6 GGG got inserted here see actually the sixth record how I am sending I am sending from Java okay and in the procedures I am going to accept those by using in variables okay You guys understood or any doubts? Okay, uh, Yadi and Lakshmi, do you have any doubts on this? Okay, great. Okay, today I'm going to send all the videos. Please go through once again and come back to me if you have any doubts. Okay, if it is a silly question or stupid question, there will be no like that. Okay, please come back to me and ask me questions. Okay, it will be good for you uh, if you keep on asking me. Okay, okay, I will give you one assignment to you guys. Anyway, tomorrow I will going to explain that particular program, but uh, just for are you understanding how much you understood I want to know just this is a kind of an assignment I am going to pass the three variables okay a B C and a is having 10 B is having 20 and I want to get the result in C okay you need to pass the two variables to the database and the database has to return the addition of those two variables nothing but uh, C is equal to a plus B like that okay it has to uh, add the a and b and uh, return that particular uh, additional operation back to the java and the java you guys need to display by using procedures with a callable statement okay two programs for your assignment on tomorrow one is use the prepared statement and uh, try to write a delete program in prepared statement that is one assignment and second assignment is uh, try to write a program to add the two numbers in the procedure and return the result object to the Java there in the Java I need to display that uh, return uh, additional operation try from your side and come back to me if you face any issues okay okay that's it for the today's class doubts any suggestions or anything else? Uh, I think it's no, I'm good. Okay. Um, I will send you the programs too. I know that if I send the programs, you guys will go through the programs blindly and execute. That's why I'm not giving you the programs. Once this is done, I will give you maybe by today or tomorrow. Okay. And. Uh, let me know if I am fast sometimes like you know without my going my knowledge and I will go very fast sometimes Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah I will send the videos today uh, By 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock surely I will send you Okay, then thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you